Okay, let's take a look at number seven here. I went ahead and, and uh, counted the squares and came up with a couple dimensions. That's two and a half, that's one, 1 1.25, 0.75. So what we're going to do is just make a block and extrude it back one inch. Okay, we're going to extrude that one inch. Now we're going to make a new sketch on the front and it's going to kind of look like this. A little bit of a V thing going from here to here. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to go ahead and put equal constraints on it from there to there. Make sure it's all equal. And then between here and here is a quarter of an inch. And between here and here is a quarter of an inch. And between here and the bottom is a quarter of an inch, right? Now, this is the first time in this class that we've made a sketch and not immediately consumed it with a feature. The feature we've been using up till now is extrude. Normally, you make a sketch, you consume it. You make a sketch, you consume it. Anytime I come over to your computer to help you and I see that you have a, a sketch over here in your browser, that means that you made a sketch and didn't do anything with it. You forgot or you confused or something and uh, but this is one case when you are going to have an unconsumed sketch we're going to consume it here in a minute so let's flip this thing around make a new sketch on the back and another little v-shape this one's a little different it's a little smaller kind of goes from here to here something like that we're going to put equal constraints on it again and then from here to here is, it's more like uh, three quarters of an inch. Yep. And from there to there is that better? Okay. Now we have two unconsumed sketches. So now what we're going to do is use a new feature we've never used before, and that is loft. <coughs> and the sequence here is kind of important, and you may have to experiment around to get this right. But if I remember right, you click on the line that you want to pick for the loft and then you pick the area and it turned blue, kind of a blue shaded area. And then you click on this where it says click to add. Then flip it around, click on the line, click on the area. And we're not adding material, we're cutting material. So hit the cut button. You see that red arrow? That's a good sign. Pretty cool, huh? 